Now this pile is one of my favorite out of the multiple ones that Port Cartoon Network has released over the past year. And now this one came out just about the same time last year, but I wanted to talk about it today. Um, this is of course 12 Forever made by, I think her name is, let me get this right, Julia Vickerman. And uh, 12 Forever I really, really love. I gotta, let me just throw some stuff out here. Um, the animation style reminds me of Atlantis. Um, the, the, the level of imagination Reminds me of Chalk Zone, the way that they get to the, ima the her imagination. Reminds me of Dragon Tales. Right, right. There's so much nostalgia that I love about this, but then there's just so much imagination that we just don't see from a series in general like this. Like I said, Chalk Zone was the last one that really had the creative ability like uh, we see with this pilot, and I really want right. this one to be a pilot, but I don't. I mean, to a, be a, a series, show. A, be so, a, series. a show, but I just don't know if it actually will be. This is one of those that really seems like it could, it's one of those it, like this is like this is so like, 90s Cartoon Network. Right. That I don't know if it'll ever be an actual show. That's my one thing. I mean, it's kind of cool like to see a 12 year old not really give a fuck like that because no, it makes sense. <laughs> she's just like it makes perfect sense. I don't really. She's like I don't really care. Was like what's so great about being a chair anyway? You just go old, get dumb. She's like, and she just like you know she she sees a like she turned one of her classmates into a baby and you, instead of you know. Oh, oh no, I turned into a baby. Oh no, it's cool guys, we got this. Just straight threw him into the magic locker, you know, no. of her of her mind. And then like, he's just freaking out. Oh no, my God, I, I, we're I mean, kidnappers. I, all right, well, let's start from the jump here. Like, I, well, one of the greatest things about this this ser this um, pilot is the fact that not only does it have the level of imagination that I love, but we have a character that's older than Rudy Tabuti was, particularly. And is at that time point, it's such a perfect show because it makes a lot of sense. 12 forever makes so much sense, especially when you're at that middle point, right? You're 12, you're 12. Right. You're not a teenager and you're not a kid. You're in that middle zone where it's like, you're going to be an adult soon. You know what? Adult Adults act boring and bland. And you know, when you're 12, you want to be a kid, but you're not as young as like, oh, let's play on the kiddie playground. Right, you're in this, right. Like, you're in this weird in-between. And so she wanting to be 12 forever, it's that status of... I can be creative and do all these fun things, and While not I only have a little bit of time young. left. And that's, right. you know, a lot of us deal with that. You know, right, right. Like, I love the way that they have her character, stuff like that. And then you have, um, let me make sure I have this character's name right. Um, God darn it, I don't. The, the, the Shane, the dude, uh, the dude there, he right. actually feels like someone that obviously is maturing alongside his age. He's getting older, and he knows it, and he's just going along with the waves, but. Is there for her, and I, I just, I love that connect. I think that was really like, yeah, he's like the older dude that's like, you know, is gonna hang out with her and just like, you know, make sure she's, you know, make sure she's, you know, you know she's fine. Like right. when they got into a confrontation with that other guy, with the, with the, well, I'll just call him the bully. I can't remember his, his name. Um, call him the bully, but yeah, when everything kicks off and she, like you said, she, sp she spills, uh, her, her, like, um, her doll into. His uh, beverage his drink, there, right. like he tries to nonchalantly end it without any confrontation, while he goes into insulting and all that stuff, which is also a middle school thing. You, you, you know, I, I, right. I really like how this felt like a middle school show. It felt like something where, yeah, you're in middle school. There are gonna be these assholes. Excuse the language. I felt like there's gonna know, be these people that will think that you're a kid if you act this way. So yeah, it, it, it perfectly. Um, I really connected with this series, especially uh, what, I, what I remember as a middle schooler. Um, but go ahead. I feel like you know she's like the new kid in the school, I, and I think like she's been he was friends. I mean, no, but this is what it looks like because based on what he has said, you know, when he has said during a conversation, he was like, uh, "When you're done hanging out with this weirdo, come hang out, come back with your real friends." I feel like you know. Oh yeah. He's I feel like them. she's the new kid in the school, and he was like, "Oh, she don't have any friends. Let me hang out with her." And, you know, while still being cool and right. everything, while, like, you know, like, kind of not ignoring them, but just, like, you know, trying to be peaceful. The middleman. Right, the middleman between yeah. everything. Yeah. And, like, um, yeah, that's basically what I feel like. You know, she's new to the school, but she still she's has, herself. like, a creative She's imagination. herself. She's not, yeah. And he's not phased, but he's kind of, like, yeah, he's not phased at it. But he but can see the like, obvious, like, you know. Right. Is that, um, well, the lines can be drawn, right? Like, right. Um... I mean, it's also like the fact that, like, you know, she has, she doesn't face responsibility the way that he does either. Like, he sees things differently. For example, like you were bringing up in the beginning, 
when she turns him into a baby accidentally, she goes and just throws him into the imagination zone, trying to get rid of it. Doesn't care, just tries to ignore the <laughs> situation as, as a kid would, right? Like, right. okay, let's find a way to get rid of that. Okay, whatever. Yeah. While he tries, he's like, it's such a great way to bounce off of each other um, and sort of, you know, um, the dialogue between them was awesome and the way that they did it. Because wow. like, okay, well she's done. 12 years old. That's that's obvious, right? But I feel like he's at least two years older than her. At maybe, least. Maybe. I, I don't know. I think I, I think that maybe they're the same age. Well, I, can, I can't tell. Because, I mean, he's obviously a lot more mature. And he's, he's a lot more taller. mature. He's more mature, but I can't tell if that means that he's older or not. Maybe they're the same age, but he's just has, he's matured. And she just wants to be at that point where I don't want to grow up yet. Right, you know, right, I, right. So, you know, the judgment's still out on this. I have no idea, but you might be completely right. Um, you know, uh, I again, like I said in the beginning, I love the way that they introduce um, the uh, her imagination zone. Um, right, because it kind of like when she had to par- say party island is what it's called. Right, the the, the, you know, the, she had to say like you said, had to say a jingle to get it going, and then and, she um, had to use the key, which kind of like reminded me of. Well, us uh, about Dragon Tales. We watched Dragon. We watched the Dragon Tales <laughs> intro and everything. Because they had the little, they, they yeah. in Dragon Tales, they had the little, the little dragon scale, and they had to say the jingle, or and the the dragon paintings would come off the wall and transport them there, in sort of the almost the same fashion of how you know she gets she gets in, she jumps into with him a time and space uh, right. continuum and jumps into Party Island. I just love the way how imaginative this is. Right, like you don't see shows that really do this much anymore, and I really right. love the fact that okay, she has her own thing, and this could be lore in itself, and really could really explain. I love to see more explanation as to how she gets this uh, this job, ability, this ability, uh, and all that. But I love the the level of imagination. You know, she's her own like superhero. Like she jumps in, she's her own superhero. She's like her her own person. We obviously see the um, the villain right like late later on, right? And it makes sense that there's a villain because. In your imagination, you want to be the, the superhero to the villain. You want to have a villain that you can always beat up and try to go yeah. against. I don't think that there's ever a chance that she'll lose to the villain unless it's up to her because it's her imagination. Uh, yeah. So I love. I, I know I'm talking a lot, but I really love this. It's probably my favorite pilot out of the and Network series. One of my favorite course. things, though, of this villain is this villain is like a reverse him. <laughs> like, it's like a total reverse him because like in the pop of Girls, right, you had him he had like a manly body with like maybe some pink fluff and crab hands but he had a feminine type voice and right. it was more ominous type yeah. feminine right but this one this one has a, a woman's body right yeah. a woman's body and like really weird face but has like this male voice. british type male british voice evil male voice right yeah. and then it's you're just so funny that it, it just like this doesn't fit and they're like what she called her butt witch yeah it so, was funny. so yeah. i'm just like it kind of doesn't fit right but it, it it fits it fits for like what like the show is exactly no i just uh man that does <laughs> and then like the you funny know, thing I, was like the way he the way how mature he was right she like He's like, why do you do things without, you know, without thinking? And then she's like, you sound like my mom. And then he was like, you know, moms, were, moms it's the, it's know what's mat- up because like mom's been there before. Or moms, you know, at least guide us right. and teach us to like, you know, not do their own mistakes and exactly. stuff like that. Exactly. And so basically he's basically, you know, like, what I want, like, what is like, like he admires. He's pretty much, his, he's, his, he's pretty much a guardian that. Wants to make sure she's not stepping out of the boundaries while also like letting her know, hey, this is this you know, this is like there are things that make sense here. You don't have to like bash everything that's going on around you, right? And you know, uh, again, really speaks to, okay, she wants to be a kid. He's more mature, and that's a really great area to be in when it comes to twelve forever here. And the villain is my to. second favorite character. However, my first favorite character is that little yellow puffball, really? that little yellow flying puffball. That just shoots out weapons, like yeah. it vomits weapons, and it just, like, right. just like she's like, "Hey, give me something to work with," and you just, right. just threw it out there. I'm just like, "Whoa, well, okay," and then like, you know, I, <laughs> I have to say, I love, I just love the main cast. I love the main characters. I, I can't find. I, I know that. Um, I found the villains interesting, and I, I found the situational way in which the the uh, bully became. The person that needed to be rescued the most, very right. interesting. But 
I I love just the imagination in scale is brilliant and there's just a really good job done here with this um, with this pilot. Right. And I really want it to be a series, but I just don't think it will be because Cartoon Network hasn't announced anything yet. This thing came out in 2015. Right, right. And, and this now thing it's came about out in 2015, 20... and it's and it's there's nothing been announced yet. Um, Literally about to be the end of the year in 2017. So coming up. I, I, this is this that I told Austin actually um, middle of this year when he wanted to do a react. He wanted to do a reaction to it, and I said. Um, because oh no, he showed he wanted to do a reaction when the new pilots came out, when Victor and Valentino and and Infinity Train came out because they, they came out at the end of this year. Right. And um, I was like, I can't get excited for those, and I'm I'm excited for those two, but I can't be excited because even these two, Infinity Tri- Infinity, I mean, um, Twelve Forever and Back to Backspace didn't haven't gotten announcements yet. Cartoon right. hasn't done anything with these two prop with the property of Twelve Forever. It's right. been this long, and they haven't said jack about it. Um, there's just so much potential, and um, if I mean, if they weren't going to do anything with it, why would they show it at all? Um, you know, so yeah. But yeah, um, any final thoughts on this? I again, my fa- this is my favorite pilot. Uh, I cannot. Every time I want to recommend watching anything in terms of pilots, I always want to go back to this one because this one has become my favorite. I think it will become and stay my favorite because. Um, I love Chalk Zone when I was a kid. I love the creative ability that they uh, can show. And Chalk Zone, I and, feel, um, went on. That was 2000. That was early 2000s or mid 2000s. So, again, a decade since something like this happens, and uh, I think that there's easy potential. I mean, plus easy, the, plus, easy like plus the, um, you know merchandising and stuff. Yeah, you know, plus, plus oh, I don't know. Does this one actually? I don't know if this one's able to do merchandise. I mean, the key I could easily see someone do doing merchandise about. I, I couldn't find. Um, I mean, they can make shirts easy. Oh, they can easily do shirts. Yeah, uh, actually, they could. Yeah, you're right. They could do a lot of this. Um, but yeah, um, I think that Cartoon Network, in its state that it's in now, Gumball's ending, regular shows ending, Adventure Time's ending, Steven Universe is likely to end next year right. or the following year. They're gonna need they, new cartoons to need, replace. This, is, this has been the whole conversation since the middle of the year. They need some new cartoons. We have a bunch of pilots. They haven't said anything about what's going to be happening, but hopefully, the next upfronts. Which are where they announce, um, where they usually announce their uh, new lineup of cartoons that they're working on, will be um, hopefully one of them gets in. And I also hope that um, what's that old one? There's that old one, um, Lakewood Plaza Turbo gets in as well. 